Oh, yes. Ooh. Save yourself. There's quite a bit to do today. Oh, absolutely, you love that, mate. Go to work, don't go to work. That's some good experimentation. Oh, hi, guys. Uh, welcome to Monday Morning here at Suarez HQ. The start of another week, and what a week it's going to be. The sun is out. We've got lots to do and a million tiny jobs that I'm sure you'll find very exciting. So without further ado, let's get on with the week. Uh, hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing all right. Well, did you see the amazing live stream we did on Wednesday? I hope you did, because it was barrel week. Yes, oh, so if I get myself in the pod. And we did an amazing, well, it was about an hour and a half. Now, I haven't seen it since it stopped rotating on Wednesday because we've been out. Uh, so should we go and have a look at it for the first time? I'm, I'm quite nervous now. We need to go. Hopefully it's all right. Let's have a look. And <laughs> yeah, look, look at that. Let's show you. Well, oh, I say, I think that's come out even better than I thought it would. Well, thankfully it's still on the barrel. Which is a good time. Let's put some lights on, shall we? While we're here. So I can find the switch. Let's show you that. There you go, get some light on things well. I'm well pleased with that. Now we had the camera on, where we give this rather unique view of the barrel as, as the room was spinning around rather than barrel, which is amazing. But I've got to be honest, that has come out just incredibly well. So hopefully today we should be able to get that off the barrel and actually lay it flat so we can see what it looks like. But we went through on Wednesday all these incredible bands and blending them, and now you can see some of these phenomenal textures and very, very subtle details everywhere. Look, let's just show you those. Oh, and that gold, how nice is that gold? So again, we're doing something different and a different style of painting to what we'd normally do on the barrel. Yeah, look, that gold, the gold everywhere is just incredible. And, we caught what came off it. <laughs> so even this in itself, I think it's really, really cool. So we'll do something with that at some point as well. But yeah, very successful night. So uh, please go have a look. I'll drop a link down in the description so you can go and have a look at it if you didn't see it already. But guys, that's the very, very first look at the barrel painting. Completely unique, nothing like this anywhere. And there we go, guys. So let me know what you think. Right. That's a couple of hours in the office. Just ordered up a new Osmo because I managed to drop this one. Whoops. Uh, it does still work, but occasionally it just stops. Uh, so I've had to order another one. Uh, we've ordered a printer, because our printer's starting to fail. It's about six years old, so we've just ordered up a new printer, but that's a way to spend a thousand pounds in two hours on two items. But the sun's shining. Spring is on its way. here every morning. What more can I say? I'm a poet and I don't know it. God, I need a haircut. Go to work. Don't go to work. Stay at home. Don't get your haircut. Help him! I'll get you, mate. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. Don't, don't eat him and don't take him alive. <laughs> Quick, shut the door. <laughs> All right, we're just on our way to see our paint supplier and see if we can figure out viscosities and things with the paints.
we've just had about an hour and a half, nearly two hours with our paint chemist, <clears throat> which has been brilliant. Uh, I must admit, I'm wearing some paint, which isn't the best, is it really? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> just a sure sign I'm an artist anyway, I'm covered in paint, even on my nice jacket. But here's what's awesome and cool, look. So we've come away, we've tried about 10 different samples of some new variations on the paint that we use. And we've come away with um, two different kinds of paint and a different kind of thinners. So at some point we're going to have a go and see what happens with those. Right then, so uh, hopefully you've seen us put this together. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, on last week's video. So now, after having spent all that time assembling it, making sure it was level and testing it, and having an amazing live stream, by the way, a link up there on the screen for you to go check it out, because then you can see exactly how this was done. Now comes the time when we've got to take it all apart again. Right, back on with it. So it's taken a little while to get it off the barrel, but I gotta say, it looks even better than the day we painted it. Check this out. So look, a little bit tacky on the sides. So it just needs a little bit of air getting to it on the back. Just finish trying. But if you haven't seen the live stream, we'll pop a link. It's just up there, look. You should go and check it out because there's nobody done this anywhere on the planet. So if you want to see how this was created, go click the link. You get these lines that are moving. Yeah, yeah. Moving up. It's almost like you kind of start to understand what Saturn's doing when it's the rotation and the way it starts to cause all those ripples in its atmosphere, you know? Where it's fluid dynamics at work with a certain amount of gravity and this, that and the other, and all of a sudden this is what you get. And you can still, you can see it in here as well. Yeah, I mean, that was starting to come out when it was being, and this as well, the, the, the blue bit, because I had to go back over it, didn't I? Yeah with the blue, just that tiny band of blue through the center, I absolutely love. But do you know what? The green is the absolute winner for me on there. I absolutely love that. I mean, my brain's trying to make, that tells me it's like a big sort of, you know, marsh or foresty just going out to the sea yes, or something. Yeah, That's what that looks like so, to me. So what you can almost see there for me is you're looking up on the top of the hill over into the fields with uh, the rapeseed or, uh, flowers. Oh yeah, 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 no, I get that. The rapeseed yeah. in there. And then you've got the little hills in the background and yeah, things like that. Yeah, yeah. And then you could have like, yeah, all kinds of stuff with the, all these layers and different kind of like perspective. It's all perspective. This feels yeah. really close. That's in the distance. And you know, I'm getting, you know, these sunsets going yes. over the top. Yeah, sunsets. So you've got yeah. a beautiful yeah, 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 yeah. sunset yeah. starting to come down onto yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe, you know, like a tributary or an estuary or something yeah. in the blue, something That's like it. that. Oh, absolutely. You love that, mate. If you're new here and you like what we're doing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you never miss any of our updates. Good morning, it's now Tuesday. Let's straighten that up a little bit. It'll probably come as no surprise to you to learn. <laughs> There's quite a bit to do today. Actually, I've got to start off by doing some painting for a client. So we were just removing some stuff out of the pod yesterday. In fact, there you can see, look. Pretty much all ready to go. I've got a little bit of canvas to cut and prep, and then I'm gonna crack on with that. And I'm gonna do a little bit of testing with a brand new radical version of the paints that I use. So let's see what that looks like. This is the 
hay that we picked up yesterday. If you've seen it earlier on in the video, we've been doing some experiments in the paint lab. So now we're going to use that canvas and commit some of this down on there so we can see what's going on. Yeah, a bit of a tester. See what we're doing with it. See, uh, see about its viscosities and separations and things like that. Right, just gonna make sure I get it in the right way. There's that one. And for any paint aficionados, it's for the uh, the thickness of the poise. <laughs> yeah, the great name that is, isn't it? Yeah. To measure viscosity in poise. The poise, yeah. Poise levels. Poise levels. Right, let the test commence. gold paint so much going on I just I just dropped the ball so now I've got to go and collect paint to get in my paint gear get out of my paint gear go to work don't go to work <sighs> oh well <sighs> not to worry it's only two tins of paint Well, I've just come out of a paint session, which, uh, two hours, I think, maybe. What's really difficult is to try and get across to you just how physically demanding this is. And, you know, I know I'm 51-ish, it will take a bit. <clears throat> My knees aren't all they're cracked up to be and all the other things, but even so, I try and keep reasonably fit. It's just such hard work. Uh, so I'd just like to take a moment to try and I don't know, try and convey that. So no fluff and apple pie, no bells and whistles, just, just me talking to you, but it is it's such a physically demanding and mentally draining thing when you're acting to every single little bit of paint that goes on, every drop, every swirl, every, every reaction, and then molding it into something that you're trying to see in your mind's eye. And I guess it doesn't matter how many I paint, even how quickly or not how quickly on in this occasion today that it, it it's it's always a challenge and it never gets easier so this has been particularly hard work today and it's it's working on a commission for a client another variation for them but it's very i mean i'm worn out i could sleep for a year <laughs> very very tired but um still a couple of hours left certainly here at the studio and then I'll go home and then I've got I've got such a lot that needs doing um, you know basically being sat in front of a keyboard and lots of stuff like that so that's my last couple of hours but in amongst all the time lapses and everything I just thought I'd try and calm everything down a little bit and just be a bit real for a second hope I'm looking at the right bit of the screen anyway uh, let's hope the client uh, thinks it's good enough to put on their wall and if not we'll have another go but anyway the whole point is it's tiring and I'm tired anyway there you go uh, yeah okay well that is going to be 300 by 80 so what we're going to do now is sort through stretcher bars and I'm going to get some made up ready to what for the paintings to be stretched around the frame so we're just going to have a quick whiz through see what we've got, match everything together, and then we're going to make some frames up. This way, buddy. Oh, there we go. Yeah, on the floor there. <sighs> Woo, silver's popping. It is. Nice. Yeah, oh, right. look at that, as soon as the sun comes out. Yeah, whoosh. look at that, right, right on cue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cracking that, mate. 
beautiful. Okay. So, should we go and see how AD is doing? Ooh, there's Timber. Timber! He's been busy, lad. He's been a busy lad. Let's go see him, shall we? See what he's been up to. What's up, dude? What's a cut? <laughs> Look at that for a happy little face. Ta-da! Oh, hey. That's rather nice. Tilt that slightly. Yeah, so we got a little bit of. Oh, yes. Ooh. Christmas tree, sir. No, I'm liking the sort of the red, the silver. Yeah, that's actually, mate, all joking aside, like that is a great combo. The details on that are magnificent. Yeah, I love that. And then you got those little seams of gold in it. Yeah. Yeah, happy days, man. That is a winner, winner poultry based evening meal. Right, guys, that's it for the day. Tuesday is done. We got painting on the way we've got bars made into frames he has got stuff stretched up and what's even better than that we cleaned the trail hurrah anyway we'll see you again tomorrow can't wait i've got to clear them up oh look at that back up it goes and i am very glad we don't have to do that too often Beautiful pan shots. <laughs> oh my lord.